what can primary care professionals do to improve the stage of diagnosis? Um, so I think there is definitely um, a, a major role for, um, uh, for investigation in symptomatic patients. So those that have persistent chest symptoms, if that's a cough, if it's breathlessness, if it's chest pain, more than three weeks duration need investigating. Um, now that is a, it's a huge population that that represents. Um, uh, but persistent chest symptoms warrants investigations because lung cancer is such a significant problem, such a major cause of morbidity, uh, morbidity and death. Um, and the first step really is, is ensuring uh, patients with persistent symptoms have chest x-rays. Um, and there is, there's, there's evidence out there that when um, we really push for chest x-rays in persistent chest symptoms, it leads to early diagnosis and it can improve lung cancer outcomes. Um, one of the major issues is that chest x-rays is, um, is not a highly sensitive test. So a chest x-ray can come back normal. In fact, 25% of lung cancers have a normal chest x-ray. Um, and I think that is really where it comes down to um, having a high suspicion of, the, of lung cancer as a possibility um, in someone's risk or something that's in their symptoms that isn't right. We know a GP's gut instinct is one of the best markers there is of a cancer diagnosis. Mm. So when that gut instinct is there that something isn't right, we can't be reassured by a, a normal chest x-ray. Those, those patients should still be referred on the cancer pathway for further investigations and they need a CT scan.